Hey everyone, it's me. Everyone knows Dave. And guess what? I have a question. How much gaming PC can you get for 500 English pounds? Is it actually possible to build a reputable system in that budget range? Well, thanks to Jack, our Discord and server manager, we're about to find out. Welcome to the house of Dave! Yes, this is actually genuinely my living room. This, this is where I live. I'll give you the grand tour. This is the wall. It's the wall. This is the window. That's a random server on the floor, don't ask. Uh, <laughs> but no, we're not here today to give you a tour of my house, as much as some people would probably rather enjoy that. Today we're here for the £500 PC challenge. Now, how did we end up doing a £500 PC challenge? Pretty simple, actually. Jack, my server and Discord manager, was about to go and spend £500 on a pre-built PC from Amazon. No, no, not happening. So I said, hey, Send me that £500 and see what I can do with it. And that's exactly what we've done here. This is our, our workbench of parts. All the parts have been purchased. And we're going to go through them and show you that I've gone over budget by 18 quid. But hey, it's only 18 quid. So let's start with the, uh, the motherboard. This is the B550 Gaming Gen 3. This came from Amazon for, if I get my price list back out. This was £89.98. £89.98 £89 £98 for a Ryzen 5000 compatible motherboard. Hey, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's by MSI. It's MSI. It's, it's, it's not from Mung Young Wung, you know. It's not some weird brand you've never heard of, so impressed at that. So then we move on to our cooling unit. Oh, and it's got some weight to it. The Thermalite Aqua Elite 240 V3. Yes, as you can see, look, brand new. Not even known. I mean, I'm desperate to unbox this for days since it arrived. This cost us £41.89. £41.89 for, for, for a double fanny hour water cooler. Hey, that's good. We've got a brand new power supply. Now I'm afraid this is by um, a brand I've never heard of. This is by Ace, who claim they're one step ahead. Well, not one step ahead in far as brand awareness is, obviously, but hey. But hey, it's a 650 watt ATX power supply with gaming port. You know, it's, it's 650 watt. It might not be a big brand, but it's 650 watt. Uh, what did this cost us? This cost us £34.95. Hey, yeah, 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 I'm not going to complain of that. That's all right, that's not bad. And that's it for the brand new parts. From there, obviously, to save money, we had to start buying used. So all of these three were purchased from Amazon. Oh yes, Amazon with next day delivery, as you do. Then we went for the used parts. And the used parts, if you know anything about Dave, you'll know that I went to CX. You don't mind, see, CX hat. I went to CX. Uh, first thing I went to CX for was a processor. I want a Ryzen. I don't want any old Ryzen. I don't want anything small. We're going for big shebang here. We're going for we're going for show off. We're going for all the cores. So it had to be a Ryzen nine. Had to be a Ryzen nine. Anything that wasn't a Ryzen nine would just be pathetic. So here, when I gently pick it up, we have a Ryzen nine thirty nine hundred X. Yes. 12 cores with 24 logical cores. Literally more cores than you can shake a freaking stick at. Now, this did set us back a pretty penny, as you can imagine, it's a Ryzen 9. So let's set us £145. £145. <laughs> so we've got our processor, we've got a Ryzen 9, we've got a, a, a 12 cores there. Next, RAM. What RAM? What RAM? Corsair Vengeance, of course. What else? And we picked these up for £10 each at CX. 10. 8 gigs, £10. So we got... 4. So we have 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. So there we have it. Then we would need uh, one more crucial part. A GPU. Now, this is where... This is where the, uh, the penny rub starts uh, kicking in. This is where things start costing you an awful lot. However, we did reasonably well. 
thanks for the wonderful CX. We got this six gigabyte 2060. Yes, that's right, it's a 2060. My camera's not focusing, but it is a 2060, and it's a Zota Gaming 2060. So it's it's a it's a nice one. It is a nice one. And our final piece, NVMe. £32 for a 512 gig Western Digital Black. Hey! Hey! Now, as I said at the start, I went slightly over budget. Not much, not much, but I went slightly over. My side was 500 I spent a total of... Do you ever look at someone and wonder... £518.82. £18.82 £18 over. So, six beers they can't, now can't afford. <laughs> Right, so those of you who are a clever cook, you will notice that in that part list there was some cru two crucial items missing. The case and the pens. The reason they're not in that price list is because, to be frank, I didn't pay anything for them. They were free. Yes, this wonderful Corsair case. So I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see it. If I move these because they're in the way. Don't you phone over. Uh, this lovely Corsair case here. Is actually not brand new. It looks brand new because I've given it a deep clean. I've stripped it down and I jet hosed the crap out of it. It was actually donated by Dr. Choices. Dr. Choices sent us this absolutely nothing for free, even paid the postage, and when they opened it up, it was full of Corsair fans. Not just one or two, but five of the damn things. Bonus. Thank you very much there, Dr. Choices. I will get you a shout out on the screen now. Drink some British tea. I, I don't have any Yorkshire tea. Please don't wind me up. I, I, I don't have Yorkshire tea. I'm a British man who does not have Yorkshire tea. Winding me up about is a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really was a call that. Uh, it is an old case. It's an old ATX. You can tell by the fact it's got a disc draw. But as far as old ATX goes, it's nice. It's really nice, actually. We're doing some unboxing. Oh, 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 oh. So let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, right, let's do it. Put some more duct tape on this, maybe. I'll just squeeze the duct tape it's got. And switch over to it. Specifications, as you can see, have a sticker over them. Yep, you can see what it says. Third, all right. Low temperature, high performance. Well, I should bloody hope so. But with low performance, high temperature, if you get set back now, you're saying. Oh. Just another one around, it's like a puzzle. No. Go. Nice. No. 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 Ah, flip it out here, get into this. Always looks like that there. With top, it does look like the top. And so does that. Oh, I see. How can you use it? Slide out maybe? No. How do I get in? I'm being. I'm being. I'm being done over. <laughs> Can't get into the box. Woo, yes, <laughs> quite the ASMR. <laughs> oh, God, um. Ah, can, what? What? This is. This is really embarrassing. Now, <laughs> get <laughs> No, um. oh, no, that, that, no, oh, yeah, that damaged it. That's in the box. Um, I've resorted to violence. Oh, oh, it went that way. It went that way. That's, see? That was professional. That was professional. That was exactly how it was supposed to be opened. Didn't tear this bit here at all. Uh, Okay, we've got a box of accessories. Accessories? Accessories do I get? Oh, oh I see. 
I see. The multitude of different backing plates. Just thermal compound. They actually give me compound. Oh, yeah, an RG, oh. It's a splitter for the light controls. A splitter for the light controls. Now that, that's, that's a useful piece of kit right there. I love that. And then, well, what do you know? Thermal compound. They said thermal compound. Shame, because I got loads. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What else do we get? Screws, obviously. Yep. And lots and lots of mount. Oh, what is this? These are adapters and screws of some description. Oh, AMD, right. Intel. So this is the one we don't want. We don't want this, which is the one that looks extremely complicated. There's about four different types of screws in there, some bits of rubber, and so I'll switch to the other one so you can see better. So the Intel one looks like it's got loads of doodads and whatnot that I don't, thankfully. And the AMD looks pretty damn simple. Get it in the camera, Dave. Yeah, very simple. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's have a. Whoa! Uh. Um, right. Let's have a look at this. This. It's not thirty-five pounds. If you go look at that, yeah, look at the quality of this, it's got bracing on it, nice little touches there, sort of like a hexagonal design on the pump, the pump is massive, I like that, I like that a lot, I know it's RGB because it said it's RGB. Whoa, okay. There's a, there's a few connectors there. So what the hell is going on there? It's like female ones as well. I don't feel like I've got a feeling I can daisy chain fans with this. Wow. Well, that is cool. Please peel off label before you use it. Do it. Peel it off, don't sorry. <laughs> so there we have sexy water cooler. Yeah. Actually pretty impressed with that for the price. That is not bad at all. Very, very impressed with the quality of that. That is that looks brilliant. So let's get our board. Because no doubt we'll have to, um, we'll have to fix. Didn't double check there first. So we've got SATA cables. Hey, well these bones Do you ever look at something and wonder, cables. what is going on inside oh, your head? M2 screw. Oh no, I was really worried about that because I didn't, I don't have an M2 screw in this one. AOI faceplate, obviously. Brilliant. And one motherboard. Yep, brand new, into pack. Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. that. I did not give the, the box the right to stay here. Yeah, that's my excuse. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jazz hands. Uh, right, so, next up, power supply. The Ace. Ace, one step ahead, 650 watt power supply. Which brand I've never heard of, like, but hey. Who gives a turn? Which is also our last unboxing of a brand new piece of kit. We've got. Definitely don't need that. Whoa. Oh, I got all of this! Cable ties! Comes with cable ties and screws, which is nice. Right. 
Have a look at this. What do we get for 35 quid? We get... What's uh, yeah. power supply? Does it smell like it's been on fire? Uh, it does have mustard cables though, which is... Slightly off-putting, to be fair. You know, we're now doing 166 frames a second. V-Sync was what was capping it. Look at that, 149, 150, 164. You received a money drop of 100k to your bank account? What? Who just said, an admin just sent me 100k? Look at these frames, man. We're constantly well above 100. Lowest I've seen so far is 132 frames a second. And we're on max settings. Max. 140, this is... Can you see the frames? Or, I've, or have I accidentally put the camera over my frame rate? I hope I've left enough space that you can see triple figures on it. This is... <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. What exactly is the hardware doing? Let's have a look. Alt Z. Ha! Ha ha ha! 18% man! <laughs> Nothing! Nothing! It's not even trying! <laughs> yes!